here with your third two minute tip marketing for beginners the branding edition so previously we've talked about personalization based on recurring themes we've also talked about personality and tone and how to develop a personality and tone of your brand um, that will help you tap into your target audience now we're talking about taglines so a tagline should be a concise sentence uh, that describes your work and how do you get to a tagline well, we've already established a list, so we want to continue with this list, and you want to be completely unrestricted with your thoughts. Uh, jot down buzzwords and adjectives that merge with your recurring themes, as well as the promise that you want to make to your reader. You only have a few seconds to capture the attention of a reader, so whatever phrase or sentence that you come up with for a tagline, it should allow them to grasp what your brand is about like that. Coming up with the tagline will not be instantaneous. We have to remember this is a process. It will take some time. It will take a lot of writing, crossing out, Xing things, calling yourself all kinds of names, but you will get through it. Um, so for me, my tagline is redefining love, one kinky and occasionally sappy love story at a time. Um, so my goal with my tagline is to uh, destroy whatever preconceived notions uh, a person might have about what a romance novel should entail. Um, there's no set standard for what form love should take, and there's no set standard for what a romance novel should look like, even though people think that they know what a romance novel should always look like. Um, during this exercise, you can choose to break down your tagline even further. I have. Um, if I'm at a conference or at an event, or if I'm online and someone hasn't looked me up and they ask me, you know, like, hey Harper, what do you write? Rather than me saying, I write erotic romance that straddles the line of erotica. Um, I'll simply say, I write what I call classy kinky smut. That's what I've deemed to be my brand of storytelling. Um, it allows the reader to immediately conjure up an image in their mind as to the types of stories I would tell. Um, if someone is a reader of primarily sweet reads, it also allows them um, to know that I might not necessarily be writing what they're into, which is perfectly fine because again, if someone is short on time, they just need that quick second to decide whether or not they want to one click you. Um, so now that you have a tagline, or at least you've got the wheels turning to help you develop a tagline, the next step will be to think about a visual to accompany your tagline. So that will be our last two minute tip. But for now, I want to thank you for joining me. Harper Miller out.